For decades, people living in northern Kentucky and their parents and their grandparents have eaten hot brown sandwiches and downed shots of bourbon whiskey at the Green Derby restaurant. Not anymore, as diners discovered this week. The Green Derby restaurant is a Newport, Kentucky institution. At least it was until this past weekend when it closed with no warning. I noticed people were knocking on the door and um, just turning around. Here at the Henry Jose house, a soup kitchen down the street, Angie Eubanks got suspicious when a sign went up on the Green Derby's door saying close today. But today turned into the next day and the next, and workers moving furniture in and out were not a good sign, according to Bruce Stelzer. I was a little bit surprised because I see people going in and out, and people seem to have loved it for a long time. The Green Derby is not just any restaurant. We're talking about a place that goes back 80 years and was founded back when Newport was the gambling capital of the Midwest. This was a place where the Sin City crowd would meet for lunch, dividing territory among their speakeasies, dance clubs, and secret casinos. A whole wall in the restaurant is covered with photos of those old times. But times change, and an employee who did not want to be identified told me of recent money problems. But he said a group of employees is hoping to reopen the restaurant in the new year. Neighbor Terry Avila is hoping so. I, I want the Green Derby to succeed. For now, holders of gift cards are out of luck, but should hold on to them in the event the Derby reopens. Don't rule the Derby out. It's closed twice in its 80-year history and was rescued both times. We tried reaching Green Derby owner Mike Broninger, but neither he nor his wife returned our call.